had them for a few years now. I We've put them on uh, our customers' bikes, so I know firsthand how they perform. I know firsthand um, how delighted everybody is with them. So when I was looking for air suspension, I didn't have to go look around for anybody else. I knew exactly what I wanted for my bike. For me, uh, being a rather short woman, having such a large bike, when I am trying to move my bike around in a parking lot, when I'm trying to back out or I'm coming at a red light and the ground's uneven, I need as much leg as possible on the ground. But I, I don't want to sacrifice a comfortable ride. I think one of the great things about touring bikes is you get that nice lopey ride. When you put down really low shocks, you kind of lose that wonderful lopey suspension. So I wanted kind of the both, best of both worlds. I wanted to be able to move my bike around, but I also wanted the comfort of a softer and taller suspension. So I kind of get the best of, of both by having this system. As a girl with uh, height issues, I'm only five foot two, I found that if I put lower shocks on my bike um, to be able to maneuver my bike, I was bottoming out when I hit uh, a slightest bump in the road. So I needed to be able to have it low enough to maneuver it, back it up without having someone to push me. But then when I was on the highway, I wanted to be able to raise it up and ride at a comfortable level. And uh, we have, I've seen these air suspensions, the legend suspension on several guys' bikes, but I thought, wow, this is actually perfect for a woman's bike. So when I was having the issue, I came back from a trip and uh, I hit a bump so bad it actually knocked my saddlebags open. I realized I needed to do something. There was no more playing around. I'd loved the legend suspension for a long time and I was getting it on my bike. Cost is always an issue. Whether you're getting a seat, handlebars, suspension, it doesn't matter. Cost is always an issue. But what I find is you can chip away and find less expensive ways to get, try to get where you're going. And by the time you try all those different ways, you could have already bought the one thing that is absolutely perfect. So I can get different level shocks, I can try to pump them up, I can get a seat that's more narrow or push me full, but by the time I pay six or $700 for a new seat or five or $600 for another set of shocks, I could have bought my system and I could have had it installed and I could have solved all those problems instead of working my way all the way around to the final fix just go right after yeah, I did help with my install. I did, because um, I'm very much into seeing how things work. And I found it amazingly easy, considering um, when you watch it in action, you think it's gotta be really complicated, but I found it amazingly easy. I'm from Virginia Beach, and we're notorious for very, very bad interstates. We have uh, bumps and all sorts of things in the road, so it was a perfect testing ground for this suspension and uh, I have never bottomed out, not even once, not even going over a railroad track, absolutely nothing uh, since I put it on.